What's up guys, today I'm going to teach you guys how to download mods for SSF2 beta and basically a lot of you guys have been requesting this so I'm going to update it from version 0.9 to beta and tell you how to get the mods. Not only that, I will show you what will happen if you try printing mods before beta inside of beta. So it's kind of a 2 in 1 video. So I'm going to be downloading a dark pit mod for this video. So first I'm going to show you regular pit just to show you there are no mods on there at all and just you know how it changes. So there's regular pit right there. Everything's the same. Neutral air, up air, you know, smash. Everything's the same. No, no differences at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download a dark pit mod that changes his skin to dark pit. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure you make a test folder just in case any issues happen. So make a copy folder of your regular SSF2 beta folder and just make a copy, like name it test or whatever, so you remember. So I'm gonna go to the dark pit mod. There's this YouTuber I found when I was looking up Dark Pit mods. His name is Francisco56. So that's the only Dark Pit mod person I know so far. So I'm going to go to him. Hit download. You're going to download the, the, the mod you're trying to get. This is a DAT61 file. So that means that it's going to replace Pit. So what you do is you're going to open the folder. And where it says data over here. Where I have it highlighted. You're going to place the dat inside the data folder now it's going to give you three options it says replace the file skip this file or compare info you're going to hit replace this file because basically what it does is it overrides the previous pit or the previous uh dat it was and it's going to replace it with the current one so that's why i said make a test folder in case you want to ever change it back or any issues go on so you're going to reopen the game just to test it out this is basically the same concept as downloading mods before, you know, SSF2 beta. Just a little bit different since the mods aren't compatible. Uh, but basically, I'm going to just test it out just to show you guys. So I'm going to go to pit. Boom. It's dark pit, as you guys can see. So it changed the skin, changed the name. Works perfectly fine. Um... So as you guys can see that, that's really cool. So that's how you get mods. This works for any type of mod for beta. It's the same process. So just apply this concept to any mod you get. Uh, that's how that works. Now I'm gonna show you guys what will happen if you try putting mods before SSF2 beta inside of SSF2 beta. And I think that's a misconception a lot of you guys are doing, which is causing issues. So I'm gonna go to this melee battlefield mod that was for version like 0 0.8, 0 0.9 gonna download that I'm gonna show you what happens so you download that this is a dat 89 so that means it's gonna replace um, it's gonna replace the melee battlefield so that means it's gonna replace battlefield so I'm gonna take that dat 89 copy it over here do the same process put in my dat folder place the following the destination and open it so basically what it's gonna do is it's gonna cause it to where if you try playing on the battlefield stage the game will freeze and it won't load up because the sprites are different the code is different so it won't be compatible with the current ssf2 so you cannot use mods before beta inside of beta and vice versa they just they aren't compatible so um just to let you guys know that so i'll just pick anyone i'll go to uh, battlefield Normally it wouldn't work. It's probably why it's all black in the background. That means it's not compatible, but in this case, for some reason it worked. Or it's because I didn't use Final Destination instead. Yeah, Final Destination. So, here it is. It's constantly loading. That means it's not compatible with it. So there you go with that. It's just going to sit there and load. And it probably will crash eventually. Be you know. So that's how that works. So basically, hopefully that helped all you guys and, you know, cleared up some answers. If you have any more questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll try to help you out. Uh, thanks for watching this video. See you later.